Hello, this is Ben, and in the following video, I'll show you the basics of how to work with PHP tools for Visual Studio. Directly in Visual Studio, you can go to Extensions and Updates to find and install PHP tools. Here you'll also be alerted about automatic product updates. After launching the download and installation package, select which already installed Visual Studio you would like PHP tools to be integrated in. Gray fields mean that the particular version is not installed. Prior to the actual installation, you must close Visual Studio and wait for the installation to finish. In the Visual Studio environment, you can easily check if the tool has been installed correctly, what the current version is, and also the validity of your license. The first step will be to create a PHP project. Go to File, New to either create a new project or work on an already existing code. In this case, simply select PHP as the project type and follow the instructions. Fill in where the files are located, which file types should be ignored, etc. For the purposes of this demonstration, let's create a new project. Go to File, New, Project and select PHP under Other Languages. Here we will create a web project. The second option is a console PHP application and other types of projects can be added in the future. After selecting a name and path and clicking OK, we will see the Solution Explorer with the project files as well as the actual editing window. First I will launch the project and check if everything is configured correctly. Launch the project by clicking the button or pressing the F5 key. If no PHP is installed on your PC or something is incorrectly configured, this window will appear. This will allow me to download and install a pre-configured PHP, including an extension for debugging called xDebug with just one click. I will now wait for the installation to finish. In the Tools Options menu, I can check that PHP is installed and configured correctly. In the PHP Tools Interpreter tab, I can see what version I'm using and where the configuration file is located. In case of any issues, a warning and hint will appear here. I will try running it again. During the first launch, I will allow the debugger in my firewall and my default browser will open with my executed script. Pressing the button or Shift plus F5 will stop the debugging process. A lot of times I already have a project created, and in its folder on my hard drive I have other files I would like to add to the project. The easiest way to do this is to click Show All Files in the Solutions Explorer. Extra files on the hard drive will appear gray, and in the menu I can include them into the project. Similarly, I can exclude items from the project. I will thus test the basics of debugging the PHP program. I will insert the standard breakpoint anywhere in the code by pressing F9. Upon launching the project, the program will stop at the chosen spot, and I can explore the application status, local variables, and the call stack, or potentially execute an additional PHP code using the immediate window. Personally, I use the watch window most often. I will stop the debug session now and I'll try to write and debug something more interesting. I'll add a new class. To speed things up, I will just write FUNC and press tab and a function snippet will be inserted. I will insert a name and close the snippet by pressing enter. Notice how IntelliSense gives suggestions and fills in suitable words according to the context. It's quite handy to use PHPDoc for documentation, which IntelliSense takes full advantage of. For demo purposes, I will make one more property without phpdoc, and I will fill in the body of the function. I will initiate the class into a new variable, and I will try to use its properties.
When I try to launch the program, the process automatically stops on a runtime error. By hovering the mouse over it, I can check the expression values to see what the problem is. I will stop it, repair it, and insert a breakpoint just to be safe. Then I can launch it again. I can check the variable values again and see what the state of the program looks like. Oftentimes, I would like to step through the program line by line or step into a function call. The list of possible commands is available in the debug menu. Pressing the F11 button, I can step into a function call while Shift plus F11 will let me step out. F5 continues the program execution. Also very interesting are the other options that behave as similarly as possible to the other languages delivered directly along with Visual Studio. Call stack is very useful. When pausing the program, it could switch between frames on the stack. This allows me to explore the visible variables in the current scope. Just double click the frame you're interested in. If I'm interested in the value of any expression, I can just hover the mouse over it, pin the expression, or add it to the watch window. When I then execute the line by pressing F10 and the value changes, I will instantly see the new value. I will now see what IntelliSense has to offer. This is based on a type analysis of the code using the information from PHPDoc, which is generated automatically if I write slash star star above the heading. I can see that IntelliSense offers everything it knows, even if I delete the PHP doc with the type information. The editor recognizes in which context the code is being written, reacts immediately to changes, and helps with programming. It can even deal with the visibility of other functions in the given context. Also very useful are the tooltips, showing me all the available information, which is often taken directly from PHPDoc. This will somewhat force you to document your code and fully take advantage of the strength of its IDE. For a better overview of the code, I can of course collapse certain parts using the mouse or by pressing Control MM. Control MO will collapse everything. The editor also allows me to collapse comment blocks that consist of multiple lines or several one-line blocks. The error list and task list toolbars give me an overview of the errors and my comments in the entire project. It is important to switch to the comments mode in the task list. Comments beginning with the given tokens will appear. You can choose the tokens you want to appear in the Tools Options menu under the Environment and Task List folder. The standard options are To Do and Hack.
Furthermore, you can find a collection of comments from PHP doc here following the tag at to do. I will add a new script where I will declare the interface iDemo. I will extend my class 1 by this interface and using the smart tag, I will implement its functions. I can hover over the blue underlining and choose a command from the menu or press control dot, select a command using arrows and press enter to confirm. The functions will be added to the end of the class's body, including a to-do comment so that I won't forget to implement them. It will also prepend and append region and end region comments, which will allow for a collapsing of the added piece of code. This function can, of course, be turned off in the options menu under the category Text Editor PHP Advanced. The PHP language often tends to mix with other languages within one file. This is one reason why it's so popular, even though this makes for a code that's quite hard to maintain. PHP Tools integrates into the HTML editor supplied along with Visual Studio. When writing HTML code, we can fully take advantage of IntelliSense, formatting options, control over the HTML scheme, and support for third-party extensions. Allow me to demonstrate. I will add some HTML tags around my PHP code, and I will try some functions of the HTML editor, which now includes the PHP language as well. I can format the entire document. This function takes into consideration the PHP code, which it cleverly indents according to the context in the HTML document. I will add something else so that it's not so empty. We can immediately see that IntelliSense and other functions of the standard HTML editor work for code outside of PHP as well. Besides HTML, I can also add some JavaScript using IntelliSense. A little bit of CSS. I'll just quickly show that the PHP editor takes many functions from the built-in HTML editor straight from Microsoft. This gives me a powerful tool for web development. I have PHP, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS all in one. I will now run the code again to see the result. Okay, it seems like I forgot something. I will add include to the script with a declaration of my interface. By writing a semicolon, the statement will format on its own and I can try again. All right, it seems like it's working. To navigate quickly within the file, the navigation bar is very useful. The list on the left contains a global code and classes, while the one on the right includes members of whatever I have on the left, functions, constants, or class members in case of a class. The most commonly used feature is certainly the go to definition, or F12, which will let me jump to the location of the declaration where the keyboard cursor is pointing to. This works for both my code and for symbols built into PHP itself. In the latter case, the editor will give me a preview of their declaration, as it would look in the PHP language. You can try it. If I use something I don't know, like PDO, I can just press F1 to open the website with a detailed documentation. IntelliSense will even show the parameters of methods in great detail to give me a better picture immediately.
I will just quickly show that you can upload the project to a remote server directly from Visual Studio. In the Projects menu, you can maintain multiple publish profiles using the Publish command. In the higher editions of Visual Studio, you can access the Test Explorer into which PHP Tools integrates its support for PHP unit test cases. To demonstrate this, I will create one. The file has to end with the suffix test.php, the class containing the test has to end with the suffix test, and the test case must begin with the word test or contain the tag at test in the PHP doc. The entire class should inherit the class php unit underscore framework underscore test case. The test explorer will then automatically display all test cases. I can launch the tests, see how long the test has run, and see what the results are. PHP unit is pre-installed and does not have to be configured in any way. I will try to write a test that will fail, for example dividing by zero. When I launch the test now, I can see a red X with the details about the error just below it, including the call stack where I can click and jump directly to the error's location. Let's go back to the Solution Explorer. It's a good idea to check the properties of the project, particularly the site that is supposed to open when it's launched. The default action is that the file I'm in the process of editing will open. It's recommended to change it to some kind of index.php. You can also choose how to launch your project. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.